Hello again, and I'm on the road, so I hope this recording uh, is going to be good quality, but sometimes, you know, I'm always on the road. I'm traveling. I'm going back and forth between jobs, doing design work or building, remodeling, so I'm on the road today, and I just want to talk to you a little bit about overwhelm and anxiety. These are two things that the Lord's put on my heart in the last couple of months, and actually six, really, I've been studying this, so... I just want to give you some quick tips and some inspiration and just kind of where I've been or where you maybe I can communicate with you and maybe you're in that boat too. So hopefully we'll have a word for you today. So just take a listen. Hello, you're listening to Business Building by Design with your host, Emily Jansen McGrath. I'm an entrepreneur, designer, mom, business coach, and lover of all things beautiful. Are you feeling overwhelmed, stuck? or don't know if you're in the right place or going in the right direction, then you found me. I'm here to help you with everyday struggles, business solutions, and so much more. If you're ready to find actionable solutions, laugh, and maybe on occasion have a good cry, then you've come to the right place. So sit back and relax or put your walking shoes on and let's go. Okay, so overwhelm and anxiety. Oh my gosh. Like I know that every human being struggles with this and some of us struggle with it more than others, but I know we've all been there and we're usually just going in so many different directions. We're meeting ourselves going and coming and going. Maybe you're just experiencing difficult times or trials or tribulations. I've definitely been there and I've been here for some time and it can be very exhausting. And, you know, I try to keep a positive attitude and I have lots of lots of faith, but still that self seeps in and you start dealing with, you start getting these, you know, um, thoughts in your head and you can't get out of your head with anxious thoughts and, well, is this going to work out or is this going to happen? But, Maybe some of you are just struggling financially. Maybe your business isn't growing the way you'd wished, or you're just dealing with difficult clients or customers, or maybe you're just stressed because so many people are pulling at you and need you, but don't get discouraged. I know, especially you out there, you moms that have young children, you're probably running them to practice and running them to gymnastics and to band and to basketball and to piano lessons or wherever it is that you're you're going boy scouts girl scouts whatever but i've been there i know listen i had three boys and we played every sport that there was travel ball school ball everything so don't get discouraged um know that it's going to be okay you know and god just keeps telling me over and over and over again He keeps saying, consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you're faced with trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And that's James 1, 2 through 3. And I keep hearing this over and over. And God keeps saying, I've got this and I've got you. He's got everything. He knows what we're going through. And, you know, I talked a little bit about this in a previous podcast, but, you know, boy, he must be growing me for something because I know that with trials comes growth. So here I am persevering, considering it joy to be in my situation. And I know that has been hard, but I feel like the more we go through, the easier it gets to find the joy in the hard times. Maybe you've been through some hard times and, you know, Maybe when you were younger, you were going through hard times and you felt like you let it consume you. Well, I feel like I'm at a point now that it doesn't consume me. I feel like I can take those thoughts, I can process them and say, okay, Emily, you're feeling anxious or you've got this going on, but I feel like I'm always able to work through that. But the older you get, I think the more you learn to depend on the Lord. And I feel like it's easier to get through these moments and get through these trials and tribulations. So hang in there. Know that He's growing you. And I can definitely look back at circumstances in my life and see where God has worked. And where He was at work and has always been had my best interest at heart. So I do this through journaling or just documenting things like by voice, but my encouragement to you is to hang on 
It's maybe a bumpy ride, but know that God has got you right where he needs you to be. Let him work out your circumstances. Don't try to hurry them along. Smile and enjoy the process of growth, testing of your faith, persevering, and know that he's preparing you for something so much more. And again, he knows what you're going through. He loves you and he has your best interest at heart. And I think sometimes we get caught up in thinking that we know what's good for us when he knows what's best for us. So again, just enjoy the ride. Don't hurry it along. Let him work. And, you know, but you have to be in the game with God. So you have to be communicating. You have to be in your prayer, in your journal, in your quiet time, your meditation, you know, whether whatever it is that you're going through on a day to day. And, you know, you've got to be there in the good times too. You've got to be there when everything is going hunky dory and everything is great. You've got to be walking with the Lord then too. So know that he's preparing you for so much more. So during these times or when I'm feeling like things are out of control, I sit down And I write down all the things that are good in my life. This really helps me. So if I start feeling just out of control or feeling just anxiety taking over, I just sit down and I write down all the things that are good right now, all the things that I have to be thankful for. It may just be that, you know, um, um, I got to see my son or yes, I had a good day or maybe someone just sent me an inspiring text but it may just be one little thing, minute thing, but that minute thing can totally change your demeanor. I can find comfort in this, and it helps me to see that things could be so much worse than what they are, and I say them aloud to myself, and I praise God for each one. So that is my encouragement to you, and also my suggestion. Take that, you know, and just really think about the things that you do have, you know, Yes, you may not have much money in the bank, but you do have money in the bank, right? It may just be $5, but you have money in the bank. Um, Now, some of us, you know, we have food on our table. We are so blessed and we don't even realize it. So try to take that time to thank God for what you do have and praise him for each and every single thing. So I hope that's been an encouragement to you today. I hope that you've enjoyed this and hopefully... um, I feel like maybe some of you could actually benefit from this. I hope so. But I hope you've enjoyed our show. I've really enjoyed these podcasts. I've enjoyed getting the reviews and talking to um, people that are listening. And it's so crazy that we're reaching people all over the world. To me, that just blows my mind. So I want to increase this and continue to reach out to others. So To help me do this, please leave a review. If you do that, um, that helps our rankings. That also helps us be seen more in the public eye. So if you have anything that you would like to say, um, please put it in a review. And if you'd like to hear us talk about anything, leave that for us as well. Or you can email us. And my email is emily at emilyjansenmcgrath.com. And that will be in the show notes. And I'd love to hear from you. I love to hear from um our viewers or people that are listening, but also potential clients because I am a business coach and I love to work with my clients. They're super awesome and God has called each one to a specific purpose and I love to help them get started in their business and watch them grow. So if you'd like to work with me as well, then you can email me there too, okay? So emily at emilyjansenmcgrath.com. And also, we have an email list once a week. If you'd like to be part of that, the link is in the show notes there too. So I hope you have a wonderful week and I so enjoy this podcast and I hope you are too. So I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.